So good morning, everybody. It is, we're in Canmore, Alberta. It is noon right now. Um, I'm the only one awake, actually. Well, my parents are out, and uh, I'm the only other person awake, because they're all, um, like my Travis sleeping, my brother sleeping, my parents are probably out for a walk. So I just had breakfast. I'm probably gonna have another shave because like I shaved already this trip, but like it's already coming back quite strong. So I'm gonna need to go get the shaving stuff and then give myself a nice shave. And then I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. It's kind of chilly. It's like only like 10 right now probably and it's overcast. So not 100% sure what we're gonna do today. So <coughs> I'll keep you posted, but I'm gonna go shave. <coughs> so I just finished shaving. You know, I still got a little extra a little bit of stuff on that. Let's check the shave job. So we got, oh yeah, a little bit extra, but ooh, 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 ooh. That's crisp, that's all I'm gonna say. So now I'm gonna go have a shower, wash my hair. Maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna go for a walk or something like that, just check out, you know, what the town has to offer. Maybe I'll go for a walk down the river and show you guys the beautiful Canmore scenery. So time to go have a shower right now. It's 12.30 right now, I think. I'm just gonna grab my shoes, put my shoes on, and go out for a little walk down by the river. See what's new in the town today. I'll view some beautiful scenery. You already know it's gonna be some beautiful scenery. So I'm just gonna get my shoes on and we'll start walking. So we're outside now. Got the shell on because it's sprinkling a bit, but uh, it's pretty. It looks like there's really low cloud cover. Like the clouds are really low today, so that's not good. But let's get a shot because usually you can climb this one mountain and uh, you can see it from the top. But let me, I'll show you the mountain real quick. So right there is called Hauling Mountain. Usually it's like that tall, but it's completely covered today. Like all the mountains, the clouds are really low today. So, but the water looks very nice and blue, you see that? A little bit of rain coming down. But gotta get my walk in, gotta get that, that cardiovascular work in, so let's just continue this walk. Walking path. There's a water drop directly on the camera lens, so I'm gonna wipe it off, ready? Oh, brand new me. Pop this down a little bit, see that? Okay, so. We we're gonna do a hike today, but I think the weather is kind of supposed to be like kind of shitty, or excuse my language, poopy, um, for uh, the full time we're here. So it's supposed to be like 10 degrees, 14 degrees, and kind of overcast, I believe. So I don't think we're gonna be doing much. There's a place called Elevation Place, and it's kind of has like rock climbing, swimming, a gym in it. So you can kind of do all that stuff um, here. And you know, there's always games and movies to watch, but check out this beautiful scenery we got right here. The water is just, you know, so crisp, so clean, such a nice color. And just the, it's a lot different landscape living, than living in Saskatchewan, because you're living, you're literally right in the mountains. Everywhere you turn, you're surrounded by mountains. Um, whereas Saskatoon, you gotta drive uh, like six, seven hours to get to the mountains. So I'm going up to this place where you can like ride your your bike and it has like dirt jumps and stuff and like a bike obstacle course. So I'm gonna check that out and see if anyone's doing that and I'll just show you guys kind of what's up with that. So you start off here, up the rock, across the logs, down some more rocks, across some logs. This is a fork in the road. You can either go right or left. Left is a little bit harder and brings you across the tight rope. We'll do this way first. So a little bit of a wider log. And when the conditions are wet, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So you're going to continue on. And here's where you can fork again. Left, more difficult. Right, a little bit easier. So we'll go this way. Cross the rocks. Slight left turn. Some new replaced logs here. A full tree trunk. Now we'll go across the harder part. Because if you go straight, there's just two trees. So they're pretty much the same difficulty. But we'll go across a little tightrope here. Make sure you keep your wits about you. 
get across and bike in to finish it off. Beautiful. Okay, now let's check out the dirt jumps and this park. I don't think I've really been in this park before other than on these dirt jumps. So let's check it out. It's closed from 10 to 6 in the morning. So let's check out these little dirt jumps they got here. Go around the corner here. You pump. This is called the pump section. Pump here. Up, up, up. Around the corner there or over. And then you can go and do some stuff over there. Come around. You do some stuff here. So yeah, it's really just like a little park. So here's the soccer field with some houses there. Baseball over there. Soccer here. Those people are probably doing inappropriate things. Okay, so I've found myself on this little path. And I guess I'd consider myself lost since I've never been here before, but it's not that hard to find your way around here because it's not that huge. So we're walking through some residential area should be able to find my way back. These are some nice log cottages down here though. Big garden there. So I think I should be able to find my way back, but let's just continue walking. It's nice there, modern. I'm a fan of the modern architecture, you know. First street, let's go this way. Let's walk all the way down this way, look at that mountain over there. Oh, there's a guy doing some work. Let's just keep walking this way and see what we can find. So I found myself in another residential area on a trail. It says it's a hiking trail, so I have like literally no clue where this is going. But, oh yeah, there's the new construction zone, so I kind of know where I am. But I'm going to keep following this for a while, and I can always turn back on it and go back the same way if I don't know where I'm going. But it's like a legit path right by the water. Let's check out this beautiful view. Here's the walking path. Some houses up there. The water is just right down there. Of course, the beautiful mountains. So, just let's just continue walking. And I think there's a bridge up here that I that I go across. Well, this is getting a little bit uncalled for because I literally have no idea where I am. I've been walking down this path for like five minutes, and there's no bridge in sight. There's like a little rock thing but half of them were underwater and I wasn't particularly keen to getting wet. So I'm just gonna keep walking. Maybe they'll cut into this residential area soon and I'll be able to escape, but yeah. So this video won't be able to get posted because I don't have internet, but um, uh, find me. Okay, so this is the end of the trail. It goes, it stops and it goes into that tiny thing or it cuts around into this tiny thing over there. And there's a, there is a lamp post over there. So I'm gonna go through this way, hoping that it'll bring me, oh yes, I see a path. So I made it back, guys, I made it back. Never been down here before, but there's some nice houses out here. Look at that. There's one for sale up here, it's probably like a couple million, or at least a million dollars. Oh yeah, some seriously nice houses down here. Lots of out front. House, house, house on the edge looks pretty big. Oh yeah, there's a pedestrian walkway here. So guys, I might just be saved. Maybe might just be saved. Actually, this is probably where I was before, but yeah, I think I was just straight up ahead, but I didn't cut in. That's a huge house. That's a big house as well. Same with that, some big houses here. So I was here before, cause this is the little rock thing. But I said I didn't want to do because I'd like have to go in the water if I want to get across. So I'll just retrace my steps and go back to where I was before. This house is super cool. It's kind of like rusted metal. It's cool. I found my way back. I know where I am now. There's this park right here. It's right near where they live. So I can cut across the park, but they have like that, uh, yeah, so. Just down that street is where they live. But this park has the uh, um, like the workout equipment, you know, like it's just like that kind of stationary workout equipment. So I'm gonna hop on that and get a quick, get a quick pump in before I go back. Oh, this the pull and row machine. The chest press, pec press. 
and then the shoulder you like lift yourself up. Beyblade, let it rip. Whee! And then this one here, you just put your hands on and spin it like that. And sometimes you just gotta get some work done on the uh, on the lifter. You know, ready? Get that lift on. Really get that lift. Move some dump it right there. Good thing I'm finishing when I am because it is starting to come down so I'm almost there but yeah the rain really really did pick up. Cook myself up some killer itchy band. See that? Oh saucing saucing on you. And now we just finished lunch had myself some itchy band you know I was craving it. Um, now we're gonna walk up to Shoppers Drug Mart because Treva needs some uh, some cough syrup so we called in to make sure they had this certain brand she was looking for and they did so we're gonna walk up there probably around 10-15 minutes and then we'll be back and continue playing some games so let's get walking we go we're going into town <laughs> making our way downtown walking immediately fast mediumly fast face is past and I'm home now homebound Here's the little man. The bald man in the ground. So beautiful. We didn't really do much today because it was kind of crappy out all day. So that'll do it for the video today. We're going into uh, Banff tomorrow to kind of check out all that stuff. Maybe eat and stuff like that. Just check out the shops of Banff. Um, so that's kind of what we got going on today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye.